welcome back to the channel guys uh and girls <clears throat> today is today is august 14th and we're gonna do i think a big move today when it comes to calves and heifers and that should all line up perfectly to do another big move right before we start chopping that way we'll have a bunch of empty hutches when we're busy and we won't have to worry about moving during corn chopping that is we're probably gonna have to move again during the busy season but you know it's the way she goes first i'm gonna scrape the transition bar and put shavings down that way it will it'll be clean for moving and i think i'm gonna bleach buckets real quick I bleached the lids last week just by soaking them, uh, but this it shouldn't take long to scrub the buckets. Once you get on top of them, it goes pretty quickly. It's when you let it go for some time, and there's more to scrub off, obviously. That's the way it works. The mechanic is uh, pretty much all back together. He had to stop because one part that he got, they put on, I think there was a leak or something, so he's going to get that fixed. Uh, it was kind of a... Uh, yeah, it would be annoying, which I think he expressed that. But yeah, it's looking good. We'll be probably running this week, maybe even today if he comes here today with a new part. But yep, looking good. Gonna grab the three hundo and get this barn scraped. I've been moving two pens out of this barn. Maybe three, but I doubt it. It's normally just two. This is the youngest. And this is the oldest. And the second oldest starts the whole way down there at that end. Turns out we're moving tomorrow, so guess what? Mow some grass. bleaching buckets you know my guys are gonna bed up real quick the weaning barns and then uh then i'll get the bleaching buckets tomorrow we'll move we'll skip the four pens that we'll be moving that way we don't waste a bunch of fresh bedding I 
gonna try to fit. I know. Never mind. Here to move it. We want the knots up on top of the bale. If that makes sense. When we cut the ropes, the knots don't get caught on the underside of the bale on the web. And when I mean the knots, I'm talking about it's where the baler would tie the ropes. You can see right here. There's a knot. Knot. New barn. After lunch here, uh, I'm gonna clean out some of these pens to a certain point uh, because when we move, we swing the gates inwards so we can back the trailer up. It works a lot better that way, and can't really swing it inwards if the crap is higher than the gate, so or higher than the bottom of the gate. So. And you might be like, Ashton, I thought you did bed these up. We did, or we didn't, we bet up the other pens. We'll be moving these tomorrow.
to go, except you, because you're probably a bull calf. And the one heifer calf needed a second bottle of colostrum, so I have a lot of lifting here to do. Whoop, whoop. It's going to take a whole seven months off my life. Life of my back, that is. Freightliner's rolling. Alright, nine hutches doubled up. I got three hutches here. Or nine hutches. Nine hutches. Nine cans brought out. Three of these hutches are doubled up for 24 hours. No moving. That was enough of cat moving for one day. Or young ones, anyhow. It's gonna be a lot more tomorrow. Time to get the feeding. So see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. God bless. Bye.